everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to finally bring you my Easter plans. First of all, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. A little bit of a haul as well. And I think I'll share the haul with you first because it does relate to my um, Easter sewing plans. And so the elephant in the room is, yes, my hair was straightened. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that and know that it started reverting back. <laughs> I got it straight. I only get it straightened to get my ends clipped. But um, so it'll be going back uh, in its natural state anyway. But so anyway, it's starting to revert back, which is fine. Looks good. Anyway, so let me start with and make sure you tune in throughout the video because where I'm going to insert this, I don't know. But I, there is a discount. I will be sharing a discount uh, from the, a lovely vendor and um, one of the suppliers here. So let me get into this haul and then I'll share with you my Easter, Easter plan. So first of all, for those who have caught my bra making video, you know that um, I said that I will be buying some more bra making supplies because my goal was to make a couple more this month. Not sure if I'm going to make it because I have a couple projects that I am working on um, and a, one that took a little longer than expected. But at any rate, by the time you see this video, I will have started on my, my Easter, Easter plans. So, okay. So my first order I want to share with you is I did pick up some bra making supplies. And remember I said I was, it was a couple random Etsy shops I was gonna check out. They were Sweet Cups uh, bra supplies. Uh, and you know I've purchased from Porcelain um, before. And so I decided to go through all those websites to see, cause I wanted some, um, not in bulk, but a little bit more yardage of certain things um, or packs of pieces that I can get if I could. And so what I settled on is, um, this is a Etsy shop. One place I order from is an Etsy shop. It's called Art Crafts. Let me see if I can, and I'll put a link to their Etsy shop below, but let me show you this and take off my address. <laughs> but here it is. It's called Art Crafts, and, um, and they are on, um, they are on, uh, Etsy. And so what I ordered, they had a three pack of three sets of wide black three hook and eye bra closures. Um, and the size is two and, two and a quarter inches by two inches. And so um, they had a three pack because I went on porcelain and she actually had everything I was looking for in one spot because I was trying to prevent from buying a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. I was looking for a site that everything that I wanted in that moment that I can get everything from there. So this is the only thing she didn't have. She does sell them in a pack, but she didn't have any available at the time. And so this is what I, I just bought three. Uh, like I said, this is a three pack. And this is of the hook and eye. So you can see that. Yeah, you can see that real clear. So it comes with the hook. And here go, here's the, the attachment there. So it's just a three-pack. And I paid a three-pack was $6. So I paid $6 for this three-pack from Art Crafts. So um, I'm still going to try to get to at least one other bra this month with those adjustments I said I needed to make. Um, so that is one order. The... Here's my porcelain supply order. So it was quite a bit. What I ordered from her, and you all remember porcelain supply. I did made a sports bra last year as part of my make nine. And she, I'll actually link the video here. Go to the iCard. If you're watching from your TV, you'll have to go to the iCard um, on your mobile device. But here you'll see the iCard pop up. Remember, I had um, used her excuse me, her um, sports bra pattern to make the sports bra that I used last year because it came in my size range and she offered a discount to my subscribers. And I want to say it was a 20% discount. So please go back to that video because that discount expires. I want to say I did that video in June or July. So that is coming up expiring pretty soon. So if you're interested from ordering from Porcelain, I suggest you go back to that video and look at that discount. Um, but this is what I ordered from her looking at her packing slip. So I ordered in my total for this order. Oh, I don't. Oh, that's not on the packing slip. I will put on the screen what I paid for this. I know it wasn't. Yeah, I don't remember. 
but <laughs> sorry. Um, but I did order some black treat cot stabilizer. So that was the stuff. Um, remember I, I said I used the um, Emma, Emma, Emma Sock. Is it Emma Sock? I have some right here. Emma Seabrook. I used Emma Seabrook woven stay tape um, around uh, the neckline. And so I was like, you know what? I, I wouldn't mind just having some, some of that stabilizer because it was really nice. I got it in the, um, in the kit from um, Bra Maker Supply. So I decided to go ahead and order that. And I'm telling you, the, these are not exciting colors by no means. This is all, um, all this is black. <laughs> I wanted to stick to black because um, I can always play with the, uh, I can always play with the actual bra fabric part, right? Um, so let me just show you. I got everything out of the bag. So what I did was get the stabilizer and I bought, it's a quarter inch wide and I bought 10 yards of it. So I bought 10 yards of that and that's what, that's what this is. And so um, she had everything, I had took everything out and she had everything tied up in these um, bowls to keep them from um, <clears throat> getting all tangled up. But this is what the, <clears throat> excuse me, the stabilizer looks like. So I have 10 yards of that. Like I said, I already taken everything out. I have a uh, black strap elastic, three quarter inch is the size. And I, I bought uh, five yards. And so that's what, um, that is what, and I'm still learning what all these I think that's, pieces, that's what this is. <laughs> so that's what this is. And then I also bought some nylon, the, the bra wire casing. Um, I bought five yards of that and that's this. But I want to say on the website, you can, it said you can dye this. So that's why I got white. Um, because I figure, oh, that would be fun to just dye. Um, I know a lot of, I see a lot of bras posted on Instagram and different things, and people have um, actually dyed, bought the white and dyed it. So, yep, this is the this is the casing. You guys know I don't do wire, underwire, but I thought that casing, um, it was really nice because it has the um, soft plush side, which the side that goes up against your skin. So I thought that was nice. So I got five yards of that. I got a half a yard, but it's 60 inches wide, so it's quite a bit. I have half a yard of the black power mesh. And if you all remember from my video when I um, did my sports bra, her power mesh is awesome. It's same good, same good quality that you get from bra maker supplies. Um, and I'm sure like Sweet Cups bra supply. Um, but this is so way better than that stuff you get out of Joanne Fabrics. At least my Joanne Fabrics, I haven't seen this good of a quality but it is really nice and so I did get a half a yard but it's 60 inches wide so it's it's a lot that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, power mesh I also got metal rings and sliders and so I have I received their three quarter inch so I got the size that I got from in my bra kit and I like the size so I went ahead and, and got that so it's black metal um, ring and sliders so I got that. I think I only got, I got three of these. I have three of these. So they all look the same, right? So I got three of those. And then I also received, five, I ordered five yards of black Pico elastic with clear center. So this is the neckline trim. So that's what you use on the neckline. So very pretty five yards again I got black this is this is this is I don't know how many bras give me a few <laughs> but pretty good and then I have five yards of the black brushed back waistband so you know the waist the part that goes underneath your um, that bottom waistband on the bra that's what this is so um, so it has the, the that real nice side and then you have the other side um so yeah and did i say how many yards five yards five yards of this so that is my order from porcelain so i'm very excited about that and getting into um for the bra supplies then so let's get into what my easter 
So the lovely Pam with a notion to sew had um, offered me a, a great discount on some supplies and she is offering a discount to my subscribers. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this discount. I had posted it last week, but I'll post it again. The discount is good through April 30th, 2019. So you have until the end of this month to use the discount you get 10 percent off and all you have to do is use this code i will put it here on the screen nl10 and you can um, get 10 percent off your order i ordered quite a bit from um pam she's so kind she's uh lovely to work with um because um i i would consider myself still freshly new to uh handbag making but she is so helpful so so helpful and the supplies that I needed. So let me show you the, the bags that okay, I So making. here are the handbags that I am making. And yes, handbags. I have decided going forward when I make a handbag, this is one thing that I missed, um, that I noticed that I didn't really uh, uh, comprehend when I made my last handbag, is that I always like to have a coordinating wallet to go with it. It doesn't necessarily have to match, but it needs to at least coordinate in some way. Um, and so I said, okay, going forward, anytime I make a handbag, I must make a coordinating wallet. And so the handbag I will be making for my Easter, now this is my Easter um, uh, outfit that I'll be making um, for Resurrection Sunday. Uh, it is the Jangles Anchor Bag. The Jangles Anchor Bag. And this is by Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H. And I'll link her... Um, website below where you can get this i will be making that now i'm sharing with you the handbag and the wallet i'm not sharing with you the fabric that is going to be a surprise i'm so excited about what i'm using but you will see but anyway so i will be making this handbag and i will also be making um for those who also follow if you all follow debbie i think it's hunker debbie hunker um Yes, Debbie Hunker, she uh, came out with the Gratitude Wallet. And so um, I ordered that. So I will be making the Gratitude Wallet to go with, to go inside the um, the bag. And so I'm so excited um, about this. Now I needed supplies. If you can tell the different um, items you'll need for these bags. So let me share with you the supplies I received. So like I said, Pam is such a sweetheart. She, I emailed her this is what I need. I'm not sure what this is and that, that she just was really helpful. So somebody like me who really didn't know a whole heck of a lot, um, she helped me out. And then I just, I ordered quite a bit of stuff. So some of this stuff I'll be able to use, um, for future handbags. And so her goodies, um, I'll pop a picture here of how everything looked. Cause I've taken everything out of the bag, but what I've ordered was it's not listed on the packing slip individually, so I'll just show you. Um, I've ordered a lot of hardware. These are zipper um, pulls. These are zipper pulls. These go with um, the, uh, let me show them to you. These are the Emmeline. Um, she carries the Emmeline bag hardware. And so if you can tell, this is the, can you see that iridescent, that rainbow? Um, so those will go with this. And Emmeline Bags do have a video here on YouTube on how to apply their zipper pulls on their zippers. Um, and so that will be easy to do. I also ordered, um, these are purse feet. So I did, If can you tell those are the iridescent purse feet? So I do have some purse feet. Uh, oh, this was so cute. She put little package. Um, and at the time I got this, see, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A notion to sew. Yay. I can eat these now. When I first got my package, I couldn't have this because I had dental work done and I couldn't eat anything that was gummy or anything that could potentially pull um, in my mouth. So um, so now I can have it. That time has passed. Um, I also have this, uh, I don't know what the technical pieces of these are, but this is the clamp that's going across the gratitude wallet that top piece that I needed. And then um, I showed you the purse feet. I have, oh, I'm sorry, those weren't the purse feet. Um, this was the um, closure. That's the closure. Here's the purse feet. 
Now here's, this is the iridescent purse feet. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I also have this ring that goes on, I can't remember what this one goes to, if it's the bag or the wallet. Um, and then I have a set of Chicago screws. Obviously, I don't need all of these uh, to make these two bags, but they come in a 20 pack, which is absolutely perfect because you can obviously use it for um, future future uh, bag making. And then I also got from her, um, I'm going to put a handmade label this time. This is the iridescent on my bag. So I'm so excited about that. And last but not least, I got more um, long johns. And so that will go on my, my handbag. So I am so excited. Thank you so much, Pam, for being so accommodating and answering all my questions. Like I said, she was a complete doll. And don't forget, use the code. You have until April 30th to use the code. And then you can, um, to get you something, get your percentage off. And so the other thing, and I'll also link her shop obviously down below so you can you know where to uh, find her so if you all remember during my um and I'll show you my outfit here shortly um remember I was struggling with the handheld punch when making my handbag uh my last handbag and I was like ooh, I need a to get the the actual punches and a press and all of that so Debbie Hunker who I was just telling you about who um has who has the um the gratitude wallet. She uh, she has a Facebook group, but she if you follow her on YouTube, she has um, came out with press plates and a press riser. And so what I got, and I also also got I don't I see it grab here. everything. So what? Um, so I've already connected it. This is heavy. I got my my um, my Gold Star Press. And so remember, I I got this press from Gold Star Press. Um, I'll link it below. There was, you get a, a set of uh, dye for free when you purchase this. Um, but anyway, so I think you can see the label, Gold, Gold Star Tool Company. But anyway, so she sells these. I already put mine in here because obviously I'm using it. But um, so the press plate, what it does is when you have thick fabric, Instead of perhaps maybe using a um, hammer or something like that, you can actually, and this is too heavy for me to pick up, but you can press those together. But the, um, and she makes them for different, um, uh, different pressers that you have. And so um, what she came out with is because people still had to put something. So let me see if I can try to show you. So if it was just this, see, those don't meet right so people would still have to put something in between there so depending on how thick it was that they were trying to flatten um or use to press something down with it was still a little room so she came out with the the the, the riser and so what the riser does it goes on top of this and then you can press down right and that's heavy all right, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> that thing is heavy. But um, so I will be using that in because she also sells these these cute little mats. So I bought the mat, her press plate, and the riser. Um, that was I know for a fact that was uh oh, but there it's a Canadian conversion. So it comes. Oh gosh, I'll link it down below because. Depending on where you live, the price might be different. For me in the U.S., it only took a week for me to get my item, so it wasn't long at all. And I want to say after the conversion rate, it was it was under a hundred dollars um, for for those pieces. And so um, the other thing that I got to help make my handbag is I went ahead and bought the um, leather punch kit. So you all remember me talking about this. Um, when I first made my handbag, my first handbag in blue collar, the, um, show that she used, um, these little, uh, punch. So I went ahead and got it from Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store below and I'll just put in there the one that I bought. But these are the ones to use. So when I want to do those holes, remember the holes I was telling you about, you know, these long johns got to go in there. So now I have the, the. Um, little punches now that I can use 
to and I have the the riser I can the riser and the press plate now I can use that and put the little um this underneath there on the little uh, underneath the press and um, now I can punch with no problem so I'm so excited to have this that will make my job so much easier um, <clears throat> going forward when making handbags so I'm very excited about that now what is the outfit that I will be making I shared this before and I'll share it again because that was a while ago I am making the Rebecca page the Megan wrap dress and I will link this down below um, and so here it is this is the Megan wrap dress um, so remember I said I was gonna color block so I'm gonna color block the top part is going to be the solid color and then the bottom part is going to be the floral now I showed you this fabric before um, and so but I'll show it to you again so that top part I was just sharing with you this is hopefully it's coming across okay but it's a pink and then the bottom is this floral now this I don't remember why I got this from but it's it's enough to do what I need to do I just need it for the bodice and for that bodice I am making a short sleeve I do not need long sleeves um, and then this here I remember I got this from um, fabric mark I want to say it was like um, $2.99 or $3.99 a yard a sale that they had it was I know it's not on the website anymore because this was maybe January December January something like that or no it might have been late 2018 that I, I bought this but at any rate here is the bottom part, which is a floral. Now, here's the funny part. I don't know why every Easter, I feel like I need to make something pink. If you were, two years ago, I made this dress. Um, and that's because it was a challenge going on and I, uh, and it didn't have to be pink, but I just remember it was a challenge going on and I made this dress. Then last year I made this dress, new look dress. And so I don't know what it is about uh, Easter and about the end of the year where Easter I'm always making something pink and then at the end of the year I'm always making something purple we look, we just gonna run with it that's how it's gonna be but anyway and so here's the bottom so this is how this is gonna go I'm gonna color block this and I have it's, I have a lot of this and so what I'm going to do also because typically for wraps we'll see how this turns out but typically for wraps I still feel more with feel comfortable wearing a tank underneath a cami so we will see if I make a cami to go out of this it's all it's also a Rebecca page actually let me go get that pattern okay so I ran and got it so I am going to make this cami this is the Rebecca page strappy cami you guys know I haul this when I get this October 2018 and so um, I love wearing these I love wearing those and so she came out with this pattern and because her size range is really nice it goes from an XX small all the way to a 5XL um, and this is made for knits um, I'm gonna make one of these to go underneath that wrap out of the floral um, fabric so yeah that is it those are my Easter sewing plans that's my little bit of haul um, I have right now and so yeah that is it stay tuned for next sunday i'm not sure what i'll have coming up um but yeah stay tuned thank you for tuning in today thumbs up this video if you like this video and yeah we will have another video coming to you soon you all have a blessed week if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below and we will see you in the next video